you have 15 minutes to to present your work, followed by five minutes to question from the audience. Uh, you can uh, start. You can begin. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, uh, good morning, dear colleagues. My name is Maxim Skarahodov. I work in National Research Center, Kurchatov Institute, Moscow, Russia, and I present to you our work, Neural Network Method for Determining the Direction of a Person Gaze based on Web Camera Image Analysis. Uh, we define the next problem in the process of controlling a robot using voice commands uh, when the operator observes the environment of the robot some ambiguity arises in the robot interpretation of the operator's command uh, to move to certain objects one way of minimizing this ambiguity is to use information about the direction of the operator gaze to improve the accuracy of the voice control systems uh, voice command examples uh, robot moves there robot come to that human robot move to that tree the purpose is of our work was to create an efficient method for determining the direction of gaze from the web camera, web camera data for implementation in the interface of the robotic platform control system in order to minimize voice control ambiguities. We set the next tasks, uh, creation of original data set for model training, uh, development of neural network model for gaze estimation and uh, implementation of model in the interface of the robots platform control system. Uh, related works. Uh, currently, there are special hardware, software systems and software methods for determining the gaze direction. An example of the hardware system is uh, Toby Eye Tracker. Another hardware software systems uh, use Kinect or special tracking glasses or mobile device cameras. Software methods are based on the analysis of web camera data. One of these methods uh, use, uses pupil detection and mouse cursor data for gaze estimation by regression analysis. Another method applies a convolutional neural network analysis with the detection of facial landmarks and special normalization. Hardware software systems like uh, Toby Eye Tracker, Kinect, or special tracking glasses are expensive. Uh, solution based on the analysis of web camera data use additional information that is not required for the robot control tasks. The first is data collected during this work. The collected data set consists of frames from the web camera. The frames match to coordinates in pixels of the position on the monitor screen the participants were asked to look at. The second is the open source data set WebGazer. It includes the data taken from 51 participants. Uh, video recordings from the camera and monitor screen, information about the movements and clicks on the mouse cursor, uh, the position of the gaze predicted by a Toby device. Also, the authors provide a program code. It splits video recordings into images and two-dimensional coordinates of points in pixel on the monitor screen. Thus, we prepare two data set. Uh, the first is our data set. It contains about 40,000 frames. And the second is open source data set WebGazer. It contains about 400,000 frames. Mm. Determining the direction of a person gaze realizes according to the following concept. The web camera image is processed by MediaPipe library. Uh, processed data is fed to neural network model input. The neural network model predicts coordinates and pixels on the monitor screen. Image processing based on MediaPipe library. Uh, web camera images are processed by off the shelf convolutional neural networks from open source library MediaPipe. We use uh, MediaPipe face mesh and MediaPipe iris to detect face and eye meshes. Uh, the first stage is uh, face mesh processing uh, for 
468 crazy phase key points have been defined by convolutional neural network uh, media pipe phase mesh. Uh, the second stage is I region processing. Uh, two I regions of interest have been defined by phase key points. The third stage is I mesh processing. Uh, 71 3D key points have been defined by convolutional neural network uh, media pipe iris. Um, in total, uh, six models were trained, uh, fully connected and convolutional, each with all three output layer types. Uh, the fully connected model contains three input types. Uh, the face mesh input and eye mesh input are processed by fully connected layers. The convolutional model contains uh, five input types. Uh, additional, the eye region inputs are processed by convolutional layers. Coordinates prediction. Uh, three neural network models have been de developed to predict coordinates. Uh, the first is uh, only X coordinate uh, has been predicted. Uh, the second model is only Y coordinate has been predicted. And the first is both X and Y coordinates have been predicted. Uh, the first and the second models uh, prediction accuracy is jointly evaluated. Um, for model quality estimation, we use Euclidean distance uh, L2 metric in the table L2 errors has been depicted for each of model types. Uh, using two convolutional models allows to get minimal error of 104 pixels. Uh, one of these models predicts only X coordinate and another predicts only Y coordinate. Uh, the models were implemented into the voice control system of mobile robot. Uh, the web camera image is processed and fed to the neural network model input layer. Uh, the neural network model predicts the gaze direction. Uh, the robot control system compares the gaze direction and the observed environment and generates the correct command. Uh, in case uh, robot move to the tree, the choice of specific tree will be carried out according to the gaze direction. Uh, the, 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 the data set was collected. It consists of process images uh, if in the form of face, face mesh vectors, eye mesh vectors, extracted eye images, and two dimensional coordinates of point in pixels. Uh, six types of model different in IKICHEC. Architecture and output types uh, were trained and evaluated. During evaluation, the model the smallest error of 104 pixels was identified. Uh, the trained models were implemented in the voice control system of the mobile robot. It allows reducing the ambiguity in the commands of movement to objects. Mm, acknowledgements. This work uh, has been supported by inside grant of National Research Center Kurchatov Institute and carried out using computing resource of the Federal Collective Usage Center uh, complex for simulation and data processing for mega science facilities at New National Research Center Kurchatov Institute. Thank you for attention. Thanks, Maxi. Uh, now, if uh, one of the audience had a, uh, a question, please uh, raise your hand. Hi. Um, I was I was wondering uh, how sensitive is this uh, methodology, uh, depending on the camera position, the, the web camera position, for example. Uh, it can be on the top, it can be on the right, it can be on the left side of, of, of your monitor. Uh, did you try the, these different positions or you just use the fixed position uh, for all the experiments? Uh, okay, uh, we uh, use uh, fixed position and um, light. Fixed position and fixed light uh, during data collection and during uh, experiment. Do you think that, for example, uh, putting the camera in a different position will give you different kinds of results or you expect to have the same kind of results? 
Uh, could you repeat, please? Depending on if you put the camera in different positions, for example, on the left or on the right, do you expect to have the same kind of results or do you expect to, to, to retrain all the, the, the network uh, depending on the position that you put your camera? Uh, 